This is the cylinder that's now the top link of my tractor. And when I was using it yesterday, I noticed that when the implement had raised up, this fitting had gotten smashed against another part of the tractor. And I'm just going to have to uh, not put this cylinder in that position anymore. There's other positions, other positions that I can put it in that'll work just as well, or, or actually better because it won't smash this fitting. But anyway, as you can see, it ruined this port right here. It's twisted it off to the side, and this port actually has to hold an O-ring and seal. So I was left with the with the option of, well, I can cut this off and get another one of these ports and weld it on there. But then I thought, well, I'll just take the fitting, I'll put it in there, and then I'll weld the fitting in place. And that should hold it. And then if this fails on me, I'll come back and I'll cut this port off and have to put another port on here. But that's going to be my first attempt at fixing it so here we go so you can kind of see that's what it's going to look like right there so i'll run a bead around there Okay, I think I have a usable weld on there. Let's get it on the tractor and see how it does. All right, so here it is. I had it in this lowest position right here, and here's what happened. It came up, and it was cocked to the side like that, and that fitting hit right here. You can even see a dent. Where it took a pretty good load before it popped. So, I'm just gonna have to not put it in that lowest one, which is not a big deal. Yeah, it looks like it'll clear those if I leave it there. All right, let's get it hooked up and see if it's gonna leak. Okay, as you can hear, I got the tractor running. And let's I'll back the camera up just, just in case. All right, let's run it. So the, it, that one's gonna get highly pressured when it runs all the way out. So let's run it all the way out. If you watch my other video on making this top and tilt for this tractor, you know, that's one of the things when you design things yourself that you have to be careful of and you got to watch out for is, you know, where fittings, fittings are going to buy, well, just, you know, a thousand different things. So sometimes as they come up, you just got to fix them as you go. Anyway, you know, I'm sure some of y'all are going to say this isn't, you know, an approved weld or whatever. Hopefully it'll service me. It's working right now. My only other option was to cut this off and weld another one on there. And so... Um, I just welded the fitting on there and it seems to be working fine. Anyway, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Thank you for watching.